Greetings, hi, hello, welcome to a new vlog. Today is November 30th. It's the last day of November, which is just wild to me. Insert quote about how time flies. I can't believe it's winter. Blah, blah, blah. I have a package right here from me mom. Um, it is one of my Christmas gifts from her. She always does her shopping early and she also always buys just from your list and tells you what she gets for you and it's like so nice because it means you know what to ask for from other people and it's just great it's great so I could hold on to this and wait to open it until Christmassy time but we don't have a big apartment to be able to just hold on to big packages and it's not obviously it's not a huge box but it is a bigger box than what it contains which is a pair of binoculars which I'm so excited about these are the diamondback hd binocular by vortex i have used these exact model this exact model before um, from a friend of mine when I went to Yellowstone this last year and we were looking at the wolf dens and we could see some wolves and stuff and I know I like them and so I've been wanting binoculars of my own for stuff like going to Yellowstone, going backpacking, camping, being able to like look around for animals and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do some playing um, but tonight Matt and I are going to do snack dinner. Basically we're gonna eat a lot of crackers and cheese I think um, and then we're also gonna go to Norris Hot Springs with some friends later. So that is the plan. Oh, I need to double check my fantasy lineup is set. Good morning. It is Saturday, December 2nd. It is 10.39. I am heading to the library. They're doing a used book sale in the community room. It started at 10. Technically it started yesterday for the members um, of the like friends of the public library or whatever, I don't know. Um, but this morning it started at 10, but I went to yoga from like 8.30 to 9.30 and got wrecked and sweaty. And then I just like sat at home for a very long time. My plan today is to go to this book sale and then probably run to the grocery store that's out by the library, bring some ingredients back, switch laundry over, and potentially run out again. Or depending on how quickly everything goes, I'll stay out and run my errands out. I want to go to the grocery store, get stuff. I do want to make cheesecake. I thought I was going to make cheesecake for Friendsgiving and didn't because Friendsgiving was canceled, but it's, I feel like it would be fun. So I'm going to make some cheesecake today, I think. And then I also want to get some new soils and stuff like that for my plants. I want to get some perlite and potentially some actual soil as well to make a new soil mix. I want to get my Monstera Thai Constellation potted into soil because it's still hanging out in the moss that it was sent in. And I just think it would be happier in soil, so that is another thing I want to do today. Hello. Hi. There's Philodendron White Striper Rio here for $17. I'm low-key tempted. There's also some Brantianum right here. There's a lot of really cool somewhat rare plants and a dog and the pumice i was looking for i said perlite earlier but i was looking for pumice also some really fun pots there's also variegated hartley philodendron which is crazy pretty cool all right oh dang we're gonna make this quick because i love this song that just came on um it's feel it coming from phil collins anyway if you are ever coming to Bozeman, go to Fern House Plants. They definitely have the more like rare plants cons uh, compared to the other places in store and in, in town. Um, and honestly, some of their prices were kind of high, but some of them were like pretty good. I should do like a plant store tour there. I should like actually ask the owner to see if they'd be like cool with that um, because it's like so small. <laughs> it'd just be really hard to like get away with it without just being like, hey, I'm doing this thing. Are you cool with that? But um, yeah, I got my pumice. There was a bunch of cool plants that I really wanted, <laughs> but I didn't buy like the philodendron white stripe or philodendron rio. There was cardboard palms, which are super cool plants, but I'll never have one until I have like a big place to have them. And then just like other things like the variegated Hartley philodendron, 
Um, what were some of the, oh, they had Ring of Fire philodendron. Anyway, I got my pumice. No one else in town has ever had pumice in the entire time I've been into houseplants, and now I am heading home. The camera's about to die, and Feel It Coming is on the radio, so I will meet, check back with you at home. Bye. All right, so I figured I would do my book haul from the book sale um, now that I'm home. Each of the books was $3 each, so it came to $24 because I got eight books. Um, one of them I got for my friend, so hopefully he's interested in it. And if he's not, I, I might read it anyway because I found it kind of interesting. Um, but anyway, I also have a pile of books here that I am going to be giving to a free little library. First one on my pile is If I Live Until Morning, A True Story of Adventure, Tragedy, and Transformation by Jean Wencraft. Wentrath. Basically, she got into like a climbing accident or something in Mount Whitney and almost died. And this is her like account of that tale. Then I got Scraping Heaven, A Family's Journey Along the Continental Divide Trail. So it looks like this is a family. First of all, this is like from a while ago, I can tell. Um, but this family of four, like mom, dad, two kids did the entire Continental Divide Trail. But I just thought it'd be kind of interesting. The Continental Divide Trail is one that I've always been curious about. I've hiked portions of it, but also just the idea of through hiking with children seems wild. So I figure I'll read that at some point. This is the one that I picked up potentially for my friend. It's called Map Head by Ken Jennings. Um, my buddy is like super into maps. And so I thought he might find it interesting. So anyway, it just basically talks about Ken Jennings' obsession with maps, I suppose. I don't know. Then I picked up John Krakauer, Under the Banner of Heaven, A Story of Violent Faith. There's a Amazon or Hulu special about this book and the um, true story that is detailed in it. I'm curious. I like know a little bit about it, but not a whole lot of details. And I've just heard how like effed the situation is. So I'm curious to read it. Um, and John Krakauer lives in Missoula, I'm pretty sure. I'm like 99% sure. I also picked up The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell, How Little Things Can Make a Big Difference. I've heard really good things about this. Stillness is the Key by Ryan Holiday. I'm just kind of interested in this based on the description. Um, it's just like a really fast world, so I'm curious about it. Then I picked up Girl, Wash Your Face. I've just heard good things about this. There's no jacket or cover to really like explain what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's just like, um, like a women's leadership kind of empowerment type thing. I don't know. Figure I'll read it. If I don't like it, I don't have to finish reading it, but I've heard good things. And then the last thing that I picked up is The Man Who Touched His Own Heart, True Tales of Science, Surgery, and Mystery. And it's about like the early days of heart transplant surgeries and stuff like that. And like taking hearts out of people's chests and like they've got like three minutes to like put it back or put it into a new chest. I don't know. It sounds really, really interesting. It reminds me actually of a book that I just picked up in Washington, D.C. I picked up two in Washington, D.C. And they're both actually quite similar to this topic. The first is The Butchering Art, um, The Quest to Transform the Grizzly World of Victorian Medicine. I've heard really good things about this book. She also, this author, Lindsay Fitzharris, has one called The Face Maker, which is like the origins of plastic surgery. And I really want to read that one as well. So I have this, which reminds me of the heart one. And then also Extreme Medicine, Help Exploration. Ugh. Extreme Medicine, How Exploration Transformed Medicine in the 20th Century, which also sounds kind of interesting and potentially similar to that. So that's my stack of books. Given the fact that it is December 2nd, it is time to hang our only Christmas decorations. I actually have three stockings for when I used to live in a house with two other roommates. So it was me and my two roommates. Um, but these are the two that I'm putting up this year, a Santa stocking and a snowman stocking. So... I'm just gonna hang them up here just like I did last year for Christmas. Time. Ah. I will just have to tell Matt that if he puts anything in the stocking that it really can't take much weight. <laughs> they are not very functional and are in fact largely for decoration. All ready for Christmas. <laughs> there we go, that's it. I am trying to make this freaking cheesecake. Um, first of all, we didn't have parchment paper. I thought we did, we had wax paper. I Googled it, you cannot use wax paper in the oven because it is not heat safe. I don't know why we have wax paper. When am I ever going to be using wax paper? 
because you can't put it in the oven. So I went to get parchment paper and I went to the co-op because it's the closest grocery store and the traffic is insane right now because the Christmas stroll is starting. And because I live close to downtown, the parking, the traffic, all of it is insane. The co-op's the closest place. I had to spend, this was like $6.70 for a roll of freaking parchment paper from the co-op. Oh my gosh. And then I was like, okay, I've been working on the crumbs, the homemade graham cracker crust. I need butter. So I was melting butter in the microwave and this was on me. I knew like, I was like, oh my gosh, I should stop the butter. I only had it on for 30 seconds. There is butter puddle, butter dripping from the microwave ceiling and on that back wall. No longer have half a cup, a little bit less. I don't care. I'm not melting more butter. I have to somehow clean this up. We don't even have paper towels in this house. So I'm actually, I think just going to, I'm not gonna let it solidify. I will just wash this like a dish, but I need to take care of that before it solidifies. So it's just a little bit of a train wreck right now. All right, we are at the point in cheesecake making where I have to fold in the sour cream. And all I can ever think about when a recipe says to fold something in is that scene in Schitt's Creek when Moira and David are, I think they're making like mac and cheese. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen Schitt's Creek. And it's like, and you just fold in the cheese. And David's like, how do you fold in cheese? And Moira's like, you just fold it. You just fold it. <laughs> and they're like, fold in the cheese. And he's like, I don't know how to fold in cheese. <laughs> and they're just like going back and forth at each other. And that's always what I think about when I'm folding something into a recipe, which, you know, David, I think even people who do know how to cook still don't know how to fold things in. Okay, you are very precariously perched, but I need to trim my bangs. They are too long and it's bothering me. So I just showered. I went back and forth about whether or not I wanted to do this on dry hair or wet hair. And I've decided wet hair. <laughs> Normally I don't brush my hair after I shower, but I wanna make sure that the parting and everything is correct, which is another reason I wanted to make sure to do it on wet hair. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> when I first got the bangs, I was like a little bit unhappy with them because I had asked for curtain bangs. And I feel like I got more salon bangs but I actually like that a lot more than I thought I was going to. So that's kind of wild. I'd like to cut, I think like a quarter inch. I don't know. I don't know if I should start with the center or the framing part. I think I'm just gonna cut the center. Oh my God. I'm nervous. Let me know if you're nervous for me. I gave Matt a haircut today, so I'm in haircutting mode. Hopefully it goes well. I swear we have the loudest refrigerator. but I did cut very bluntly and I'm expecting I'm going to want to go back in and um, do some kind of, what is that called? Like texturizing, I guess. Feathering, one might call it. I will say this is so much easier to do when it's not bangs, like cutting your own hair, because it's just so much easier to see when they're longer, like not right up against your face. Okay, I just did a slight bit of point cutting, which I think helped a little bit, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them the way that they are for now. Um, let them grow back out and then eventually probably go properly get them cut <laughs> again.
things just grow so fast. Well, they grow fast, just as fast as the rest of your hair, but it seems so fast because they get in your eyes. So this will hold me off for a little bit longer before I actually go get them taken care of. And I need a new backpack because the zipper on mine just like fully broke off, like <laughs> separating, but it's not like separating in a way where I can sew it back to the backpack. Like this zipper teeth are separating from the zipper fabric. And so there's like not much I can do which is why I need a new one. All right, TJ Maxx was a little bit of a bust. There were two backpacks there that I looked at, the little orange one. I loved the color of it. It was like kind of cute because it was like almost looking like a little puffy, but it only had, I think it maybe had, it only had one water bottle sleeve on the outside and it was just like too small. I carry a lot of stuff in my backpack at times, mostly just because I carry my lunch in there. Um, and then that black one that I saw, I liked it because it was like nylon, so it was easy to clean if it gets dirty. Um, and it did have two water bottle holders, but one wasn't enough, one wasn't big enough to fit a, like a liter size Nalgene, which is the type of water bottle that I use. So it would have to hold like a coffee carrier or something like that, which is fine. It's typically what I use the second water bottle holder for, but I do sometimes use it for a second Nalgene. Um, and also I like the black, but it's also so boring. And I don't really like the green and red on the zippers because it feels a little too Christmassy or like it's trying to be Gucci or something and I do not care. So I'm heading to Target to see what they have. Um, that's where I got my last backpack, the one that is broken. <laughs> so I figure I'll at least look and see what they got. I literally don't know what's going on for like my luck to be just like so shit right now. I find this backpack that I like at Target. I take it up to the front. First of all, there's like four of them on the rack. It's like the only one that has two water bottle pockets that isn't like a fucking like Swiss gear, whatever ugly ass backpack. It was that cute little pink one. Take it up there. It doesn't ring up. And then she's like, oh, this is a salvaged item. It went through so, so many clearances and no one was buying it. And so you can't buy it. Like Target doesn't sell this item. It's the price is zero. And I was like, okay, so do I like go get a different one that looks like the same one? And she was like, what do you mean there's more? I was like, yeah, there's like multiple on the rack. She's like, sorry, we can't sell this item. We're gonna end up donating it. I'm like, well, can you freaking donate it to me? Like, I wanna buy this goddamn backpack. What the fuck? It's like, not a big deal, I guess. But like now I need to either go to like Staples or I feel like Staples is all going to have just like really expensive backpacks. So I think I'm going to try Walmart, but it's just like, are you I just need a backpack that functions. Oh my God. So many things today have just been like today, yesterday, Friday, like so many things have just been like against me. It's driving me nuts. After wandering the store for literally almost 10 minutes, I finally found the backpacks and there's some promise here. I like this pink one, I like the gray one. The Reebok one is cute. We'll see what's up. I'm assuming you can hear the rain. Anyway, it is 37 degrees out, maybe 36. Pouring rain, December, what is it today? The 6th, 7th, I think it might be the 7th. Yeah, December 7th. Today is the first day of the in-person, it's the first in-person meeting thing that I have for my internship. And it's like a 10 minute walk from my normal parking spot near campus, but like a 20 minute walk from my office on campus. And I've been like going hemming and hawing about whether or not I just drive there and then hope that I get a parking spot in order to like actually go to campus afterward, and yada, yada. I decided I'm just gonna park in my normal parking spot and walk there, but it is, it's raining pretty good. I do have an umbrella, but it's just like, really? Do we need pouring rain in December? No, we need snow and it might snow. It might get cold enough to start snowing. Ridiculous. Matt and his buddy are going to Big Sky right now. They should be like halfway there, if not almost all the way, all the way there by this point. So hopefully it's snowing for them in Big Sky and not raining. <laughs> This is such a train wreck. I'm so frustrated. Also, I totally overthought what I was gonna wear today. So I have 
my like green sweater dress kind of thing on and then I put some earrings on. I actually did eye makeup for the first time forever. I was just really overthinking things. But this is my uh, this is my update for you. The fact it's freaking rainy in Bozeman. Here, look. Look at how gray and rainy it is. So, so sad. All right, as an update after the meeting, it has started snowing, but it's still kind of raining and it's windy enough that the umbrella is not super helpful. So I look like a drowned rat, but the meeting was interesting. I didn't understand a lot of it, but that's okay. I will. I wrote down a lot of things to Google, <laughs> but everyone was super nice and like introduced me. Um, the other intern who I actually know from grad school, she, I don't think was on the meeting. Um, oh my God, because she would have to attend remotely and they don't want us doing anything until we get our own new emails and get the security set up and everything. I'm getting a, my own laptop because of the confidentiality and stuff of things. Um, but yeah, so it was good. And now I'm walking to campus to do a <laughs> day of work. Oh my God. Uh. <laughs> minutes since I've checked in. I meant to check in yesterday when I was doing those Legos, um, but I forgot. I just ended up building Legos, and I'm going to go home and probably finish building Legos. They're for the Lego, first Lego Robotics League, whatever competition that MSU hosts. It's for like middle and high school students, I think, but each year they ask for volunteers to help build Legos for the set, and so I did it last year. I'm going to do it again this year, or I am doing it again this year, um, but yesterday... My lovely boyfriend, whom I live with, tested positive for COVID, and I woke up yesterday with a headache and a sore throat, but I have tested negative for COVID twice in a row, two days in a row, and I think if I test negative tomorrow, I'm like pretty much in the clear because as soon as he tested positive, we did start isolating, but he has a friend in town who was staying with us who ended up having to go get a hotel room because I wanted to be able to isolate from Matt and he was staying on our futon. 
a whole logistics nightmare. He can't move up his flight because the airline that he's on only flies to Bozeman Mondays and Thursdays, and this all happened on Saturday, and it's just been a train wreck. So, because I'm not feeling super great, and because Matt has COVID, I've been limiting my time out in the world. But when I have been out in the world, I have been wearing a mask, of course, um, and trying to go, like I just was in the lab and it's a weekend, so like no one was around. I saw one person and I was wearing a mask. But anyway, it's just been kind of a little bit of a logistical nightmare. My graduation ceremony is in four days, five days. It's on, it's on Friday, not Thursday. Um, my mom's supposed to get to, ha get to town on Thursday. She's not staying with us. But, oh my gosh, gas is two ninety seven. Wow. Okay. Um, but anyway, it's just been kind of like a little bit of stress dealing with that being like, oh my gosh, are you serious? Like I'm finally getting the chance to have graduation and I might have COVID. <laughs> like, are you freaking kidding me? But anyway, um, I am driving home from the lab now. I was there for about three times as long as I thought I was going to be because I ran out of stock solution. Had to make some stock solutions yada 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 to do what I wanted to do and I am on my way to Burger King because I've been craving a burger for like a full week and I want an Impossible Whopper and I'm also gonna pick up Matt a milkshake I think does Burger King have milkshakes we're gonna find out because I was like hey I'm going to Burger King do you want me to see if they have like a milkshake or whatever so I'm gonna go home take Matt his milkshake and then I'm just gonna like veg and build Legos and everything um, I had plans this weekend. We were supposed to do book club. I had to cancel book club for graduate women in science and engineering because I wasn't, or because I had been exposed to Matt and wasn't feeling super hot and I had to cancel that like just a couple of hours before it was supposed to happen. I wanted to go out to a craft fair in Belgrade because I saw that there was this woman who makes really cool earrings who, were, who was going to be there and I just like going to craft fairs. It's like one of my favorite parts about the holidays is like there's a bunch of craft fairs and then today, Sunday, we were going to go to Chico Hot Springs. Obviously, that didn't happen. Oh, we had tickets to the Ice Fest film for Saturday night. That didn't happen. My friends hosted a ping pong tournament on Saturday night that I was going to go to. Obviously, that didn't happen. Just like a lot of stuff. Um, it's just a time of the year where there's a lot of things planned. And I haven't done any of them because of not wanting to expose anyone. And also, like, I don't feel super great myself. Um, yeah. I got a COVID booster, Matthew did not. So, <laughs> there's that, we have no idea where he got it from, um, but he's not feeling super hot. So yeah, I'm gonna go get my Burger King and go home, and I might just wrap up this vlog here so that I have something to do. I'm gonna edit it and post it. My plan for the work week is to just be at work to be in the lab, and otherwise be at home to limit myself exposing anyone to anything and yeah I don't know it's just kind of a, a weird situation to be in so that's how I'm gonna keep testing I think I'll only take a test tomorrow morning and if it's negative then I'm just gonna stop testing obviously if it's positive gotta reevaluate some things but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be negative so fun times in the Mettler Matthew household and the Matthew Maddie household. So yeah, I'm gonna go find out if Burger King has milkshakes. Ah, uh, as an update, Burger King is freaking closed. I don't know what it is about the Burger King here in Bozeman. It is truly never open. And they did this like beautiful remodel on it a few years ago and it's freaking closed all the time. So I'm gonna go to McDonald's now and I'm not gonna be able to eat a burger cause they don't have any plant-based burgers there. Um, but I guess I'll at least be able to get maybe, maybe a milkshake because 99% of the time they're freaking milkshake whatever ice cream machine is down. Maybe I'll just go to Wendy's. I think I'm just gonna go to Wendy's. I'm so upset about this. Also there's just, I think it's a soup can rolling around in the back of my car. Oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated.